Hey guys, welcome to the Wisdom Nuggets. So why do I call this Nuggets? In the, one of those fast food places, the most popular snack is Nuggets. Because they're one easily digestible, it's not too heavy on you, but the same time it's very tasty. Similarly, the Word of God also has some Nuggets. That's not too heavy on us and it is easily digestible and of course it is too tasty. So that's why it is wisdom nuggets. So let's get to it. How many of us love gifts? I am game for a gift anytime, any hour, I don't care. Gifts is the favorite thing for me. Gifts are basically a stress breaker. I don't know how many of you will agree with me or not. Gifts are basically a stress breaker. Just imagine you got a gift waiting for you. You will be super excited, right? Obviously, we are all super excited for a gift. But most of the time, gifts are expected. Expectation of a gift is where the problem lies. Because gifts are always should be in surprises should come in a sur surprise package as they say right it should not be expected for example if somebody comes to you for a job for a work to be done from you and you're paid for a salary or if you did a job and expect some kind of gift from him or her is not good I'm a dentist I was working in a hospital it's a mission hospital we used to do a lot of rural screenings we used to go to the remote places where the medical facilities were not accessible so we used to go there and screen those the, the the people there and if we found something wrong we used to refer them back to the hospital where i was working one day there was this man who came to my clinic and he would he didn't look good he was kind of haggard worried depressed I saw a small, not small, a moderate swelling in his jaw and he wanted to show uh, and wanted to get my opinion on it. But when I put him on the chair and started palpating all over, I was not very happy with the clinical presentation of that swelling because it looked like it was some kind of a malignancy. So what I did is I asked them to get an x-ray of the jaw and when I saw the x-ray there was a lot of changes in the bone architecture suggestive of some kind of malignancy. So what I did is I just put my fingers just to look at the lesion there inside the mouth and I told him that uh, the lesion didn't look good clinically and radiologically so what I did is I referred the, the, this man to the higher center with a reference letter and all the notes so before he left the clinic of course he was a little annoyed and he was worried and depressed and he was sad but before he left his left my clinic what he did is he pulled out a couple of rupees the, the, the rupees or dollars, I would say, I would put it in dollars, a couple of dollars, and tried to gift me. And I asked him, Why are you giving this money? He said, He was anyway not feeling good for the findings that he did, but at least he was very happy the way I screamed, the way I tested, I, the way I handled that person. He was very happy. But I said, Like, if you want, I, I told him very clearly that I'm being paid for what I'm doing and I have been a dentist for that service I'm supposed to do that's that my my job description is that that I need to screen I need to check that's my that's my nature of job for that I'm paid then why do you have to give me an extra gift in the name of he said he said he mentioned this he said it's a gift for you I said if you want to really give me a gift there is a box outside the hospital that says funds for poor people you can go and just put those money there that's what I say 
that's not the point the point is how many of us stretch out our hands to such kind of gifts or is it really is it really something that you really want or are you really expecting or is it something that it is drawing you towards or is it something that you have decided some people have decided without earning beyond the salaries without earning gifts of that numbers they would probably not be able to go back home because they didn't reach the target also is it really hurting your targets do you make a target that you need to take such amount of gifts back home beyond your salary no that's not what god says if you turn with me to psalms 128 second verse psalms 128 second verse it reads and it is very clear it says when you eat the labor of your hands you shall be happy and it shall be well with you labor of your hands you are supposed to eat whatever your hands have labored nothing more nothing less nothing more nothing less many of us go to our workplaces in expectation no that is not that that's not what god want god wants something or let me put it this way god is very strict on certain things especially these kind of activities because when you are in a clinic when you are in a place when somebody comes and seek a help from you or a work to be done and when you expect some something in return you never know what that person is going through he might be having money or he might not be having money when you demand when you expect something for what for the work that you have done that you are supposed to do from where will they give it expectations give rise to demanding that's not good very clear god is very straight that when you eat the labor of your hands you shall be happy and it shall be well with you it shall be well with you is a point that we should focus whenever you try to stretch your hands for something that doesn't belong to you